Welcome back, guys. My name is Eric. This is Most Seven Gaming. Today we're playing Battletech. We've got the DLCs for Flashpoint and for Urban Warfare going. Uh, last time we finished a Flashpoint against the Curitans, where they uh, tried to backstab us a little bit. At least their their cronies did. Um, so at the moment, we can go a lot of places. We do still have a Flashpoint. We want to do uh, about one planet over, and we are going to do that. But I think first we're going to go ahead and take a couple of small contracts here and attempt to boost our Davian um, uh, faction up the rest of the way. So this should get us... These two missions uh, should go pretty quick. Um, and then we'll just kind of see how that goes. Uh, I think we'll just... We'll leave ourselves one in case we need it. Um, and I decided that I didn't want Ninja in the Victor. I wanted to swap him with Turbine. So we'll do that. Still not a fan of our Banshees. Of course, they're the ones we've had the longest, and I really don't like either of them all that much, but... You know, needs must. It's not like we've got 800 uh, assault mechs to choose from. Although here we could easily use one of the Orions, but... Or Catapult, or anything else. I mean, these are much, much smaller. Uh, Missions, as far as star rating goes. Uh, assassinate. One of our covert facilities was breached, Commander. What appears to have been an inside job. Mech warrior stationed there murdered the rest of the staff and is defecting to the Capella Confederation, taking a valuable Davian mech with her. Facility is a total loss, but we don't want that mech falling into enemy hands. Track down the renegade. Destroy her mech. We believe she's being escorted by Capellan forces, and there's a bonus if you destroy them as well. Bad feeling about this, Commander. If they want that mech torched, I'm guessing it's relatively powerful. Be careful. Mech is leaving a trail anyone can follow. Our target is not subtle. We're certain she is in this area. Move up and make contact with her and her escorts. Engage and destroy the mech. Head over to the evac zone. Oliver out. Mm. Jump and get us farther? No. Moving to position. Okay. Move order received. Somebody's highlighted at the top of that ridge. Who could it be? There's a 25-ton muck. Mech? Muck. It may as well be a muck at this point. Is that a spider? Yeah, you're a brave little spider. Calling in the LRM-5. Can we see who's up there now? Apparently nobody. There's nobody up there. Large laser within vision. Spider. Okay, that's fine. You. Move on out. Fire at all weapons. Eh. What now? Copy. All right. Hey, there's where that laser probably came from. I'm just taking evasion off. Figure we may as well. Missiles will hit a little bit. Coordinates received. May as well just keep doing it. Splitting fire. And what the heck, why not? Let's just keep doing it. Engaging. Oh, we missed with an AC-20. Well, it's only 55%, but still. Yes. Go, go, go. Of course, now that we got rid of all their... <laughs> now they just get a run up again. <laughs> Probably another commander up there. Commando, excuse me. Since it was a large laser, I think, that came down from up there, too. Oh, 50 tons. No, probably not. Who knows what it is? Oh, 
LRM5 from somebody. Oh, it's Enforcer. Okay. Okay. That was a hard hit. Um. Aye, aye. See what our options are. Probably the Enforcer. Uh, no, let's just get rid of him. We had decent hit chances. No reason not to. Take a mech off the field. I'm here. Affirmative. We'll introduce him to the Lerm 40. Yep. Got it. Um... No, I think we just all go towards A. It's AT AC-10's out. It's still got a large laser. But the commando might be more dangerous now. Oh, we missed the 80% chance with the AC-20. We're wasting a lot of ammo, not hitting anything. I might just go punch him. Probably the easiest way to get him. And she might be close enough now. Oh yeah, they start mixing those large lasers. I mean, look, our Banshee's already lost. Power of focus fire. Yes, Commander. Well, we'll get in the trees. You got it. Maybe we'll take a mech out. Make our lives a little bit easier. Or not, they just keep focus firing. Armor breach. Internal damage. Hey. Okay, let's go. Oh, come on. Give me a little bit of love, Dice. Receiving you. Be nice to get just regular percentages here. I'm going to split and put the Lerms up top here. A little damage on that Shadowhawk. Remind him who he's facing. Solid connection on that one. Move the Atlas up, and I think same type of thing. Go. We finish off the commando with what I. Yes. Oh no. No, we cannot. <laughs> it's not much of him left, but we didn't finish him off either. Into the trees. I just punch him with the victor. Minimal. Put my weight. LRM five. That might be a ten. Maybe two fives. I'm here. Advancing, I guess. Going hand to hand, I guess. That's not too bad. Commander. 
Step on this guy. <laughs> Our fist is like the size of its center torso. Get rid of the heat. Come up here. There we go, just enough. Now we see who it is over the top of that hill there. Let's move. What now? If you say so. I was like, what am I waiting for? Going full throttle. He had like jump jets and a gauss rifle on that thing. Got the gauss rifle, now we just need to come with some ammo. 60 ton. There's a spot here where I had... There we go. Add vision. Quick draw. I don't really know why they're worried about it, other than just spite. After all, pirates have like 8 billion quick draws. As far as I can tell, everybody gets their own quick draw on their 16th birthday. Except me. I got a blackjack. Um, yeah, we'll just stand here. Probably a mistake. Because at some point he's going to run away. Uh, in this case, he ran somewhere. It's easier for me to chase him, though. Oh, it would help if we hit with something other than the medium laser. Oh, I do have jump jets on it. Got it. And he no longer has armor on the back. Scored a critical hit. And he's knocked down, so it won't matter. <laughs> it's the best thing you can do right there. Tip over so we can't shoot his back armor. Run the atlas around this rock. Learn him some more. We go. Quick draw down. down. Mission, Mission successful. successful. All right. I think that should max out our Davian. Um, I have one of those Shadowhawks. Oh, unless there's something else cool here. There's not. And we got a spider part. All right. At least we didn't... I don't think... How much damage did we take? I was going to say, I don't think we took any, but then the more I think about it, the more I was pretty sure we had. There we go. One day's worth of stuff. Slide that there. Close. Let's check our barracks. I don't know when the last time it was I spent XP. Standing back. Yes, come in. Uh, piloting, sure. Mech warrior training complete. Standing by. Puddles, sure. Training confirmed, Commander. Standing by. Rover. No. Turbine decided we were going that direction, right? Training complete. And whiskey six. Mech warrior training complete. Okay, so that's that. Um. Reputation. 
So now we can ally with this faction. I'm not sure what that means, but we're going to click it because I've never clicked it before. When you choose to ally with a faction, you'll gain access to that faction's unique quartermaster store and rare equipment, mechs and weapons. You'll also unlock special difficult factional emissions with rare rewards. When you become allied, your reputation with the faction can no longer fall below zero. You'll no longer be able to take missions that directly target your ally. However, you also become enemies with all the faction's enemies. <laughs> Everybody, not quite. Um, you can choose to break an alliance which drastically reduce your reputation with former and will prevent you from becoming allied with that faction for one game year. I think we do it. I and mean, I don't see anybody here. I mean, it, we're not too far off with them. We don't care about the pirates. We don't care about the Concordan, uh, Concordat. And uh, we just kind of burn bridges with Draconis Combine. So yeah, I think we're okay there. So we can work for um, essentially Lirans, um, Steiner, and for Magistry of Canopus. And that's kind of it. Everybody else we're enemies at. So what does that do if we look here? There was one more mission we could do here. Um, actually, <laughs> so these are marked in red, so we can't do these. Right? In theory. We could do this. One of those where you go in and target acquisition and they blow something up from space. Stealing is a form of flattery. We could do that. So we have a couple here, and obviously we've got hot landing, which is one we were thinking about doing. Anyway, but now I'm kind of thinking, since this is here, one last mission here in the area, and then head back. And see if we can get any of those special missions. What is it? Does it show special missions on Star Map? Oh, I guess those are capitals. Four and a half. One. <laughs> so yeah, we could go there soon. Um, we could. Who is this one with? Oh, we could do this one still. It's still Capel and Federation. Um, so it is one we could do. Oh, no, I can't. You are enemies with this. Okay, that's loud. Yes. Um, all right, so we can't do that one anyway. So we may as well... How many do we have here? What is this one? This one's light... No restrictions. Oh, Draconis Combine. I'm not doing that one. And Yang. It's, it's going to take 37 days to get there. Expires in 127. I think we do that. I think first, though, we do just a regular mission here. Um, maybe we take this one here where we, we do the targeting thing. It's three star. It pays. We'll do that. Um, again, we'll just kind of leave ourselves one in case we want it. Um, we don't make any changes there. Oh, we do make a change here because we're still working on stuff. How do I exit out? We are doing it, but let's get repaired here. Okay. Command center contracts. Let's get back in. Uh, we have an operative in place in the Capellan Research Facility in the past year. They've been gathering sensitive data. They've noticed fires ready to extract. We need to mile force to arrange that extraction. Um, research facilities not connected to any data networks, and all secure laboratories are far enough underground that wireless data signals are blocked. Get information out. We need to position a satellite receiver directly over the site. Your task will be to place positioning beacons to allow the satellite to lock on it. Okay. Free world leads would like to offer your choice contract. Um, yep. That gets everybody back where we expect them. Let's jump in and do this, and then we'll go take care of Yang next episode. I think that will be that'll be fun. Command interface. All right. Achieved. My biggest issue with this is um we gotta go fast. Commander will keep this brief, a lot happening. Move in position. Three mark locations there, here. And here, Expect significant reinforcement. I, 
satellite won't be overhead. Okay. The data's uploaded. Make for any back point. Uh, my only worry is us not being fast enough. Um, so I gotta go here, here, and here. So um, I think we just sprint right down the middle here for now. Moving to position. Heading out. Moving out. And we'll just split. Maybe Atlas there, everybody else goes that way. We've only got eight rounds to get everybody in place, so... Looks like that's the farthest one, so that's gonna have to be the victor. Islander maybe will go that way. Actually, Banshee might be able to get there faster. My senses have some. Highlander here, Banshee there. These two go here and shoot stuff. Oh, that's a lot of mechs. That's a lot of mechs. Good to go. Oh, wait, so Banshee's going this route. Oh, do I just keep... That's 40 tons. That's unknown. I think we... Oh, wait. So a cicada, a trench bucket, and a centurion. That's going to be tough. Don't... No lie. I'm gonna drop him on the cicada. I'm gonna get the two big guys there in the center where they can shoot at everything. In the meantime, we'll just hit the cicada with some LRMs. Five rounds. Everybody's gonna move and shoot at us. They just back up? Interesting. They're shooting at me. Very, very interesting. <laughs> of course. Okay, for now. Okay. The Brawler Cicada. This worries me a lot more. There goes a leg. Not quite, but pretty close. We may not be able to get there. Oh no, the Banshee has to go this way. Banshee has to go this way. Um... Sure, we'll go take the shot. Right here. Um... I think that'll be okay. I'm gonna run. Now I don't want to show that leg there. Moving full speed. Do this. I should have. Standing by. Quiet. 
coordinates received. Hunchback. Blackjack. Hunchback. Vindicator. Trench bucket. We, we're on the side of him. I think I'm gonna go trench bucket initially. I should have done multiple, so I get the rest of those guns out on something. But at least we did something to him. I mean, he should go down fairly quickly. Yeah, 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 we know. We're, we're working on it. Question is, does our... Our victor last. So we're up here, we've given him a target. A big one. I'm losing lots of armor. We might have to jump the Highlander down after and we just took a headshot, of course. I'm hit. <sighs> losing armor. So we might move Atlas up, jump the Highlander down next turn, and then we can just start killing stuff. Okay. So far. I'm being flanked. Damage looks light, Commander. Ouch. But our leg is holding. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Right here. All on air. All right, we're there. Yes, Commander. Um... Something like that. Vigilance. Trench bucket. He had some. All right, he had some ammo explosion, so he's in a tough way. Good to go. I'm here. Vigilance. I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna shoot him and him. We'll put the LRM-20s onto the trench bucket. Taking the shot. Knocked him down, okay. So he's gonna be a lot less dangerous now. Well, I said that last time we knocked somebody down and he came up and hit with absolutely everything. So I, I suppose I should be a little bit more careful when I say that. Atlas is up here. He can take some heat now. Um, is that the only direct shot we've got? Yeah, so this guy gets the gets the joy, gets the love. We took out his medium lasers. But he's a lot less dangerous all of a sudden. They still got a lot of guys. We could still lose that leg. I don't know if that's going to matter for our two turns or not. Shoot the Atlas. That's perfect. Shoot the Atlas. Ah, uh, AC-20 guy, huh? Okay. Cover guarded 60%. Good, good. Damn it. I've got an armor breach. Yeah, well, we all got armor breaches. I'm gonna die. About to lose an arm. Internal structure damage. Might just punch this guy. I'm doomed. Doomed. Or, I 
just keep rotating, put my back here. Still in the spot. And I finish off the trench bucket. Now he won't get back up again. See, we get rid of that AC twenty. Not there, we couldn't. Yeah. Position confirmed. Given them everything I've got. We got some good hits there on him. I got a knockdown. Solid connection on that one. Not yet, but I bet you it will be in a second here. That should be a knockdown. And an AC-20 ammo explosion. So he should have no more AC. It won't let me click him. All right, getting the signal. We're locked on to the beacon successfully, beginning data transmission. Heads up when they're done, move in for pickup. Okay. So, I would like to know, and I'm not going to get to find out here forever, because now they're going to start moving stuff. There goes an arm and a leg. I'm die. Still don't know what's going on with that guy. <laughs> yeah, he did lose his AC-20. I'm going to ignore him for a little bit. I'm under heavy fire here. damage very little though what is Let's see if we can finish off this AC20 guy well let's just take off his leg I bet he's gonna like this. oh thanks hit on that one so now he's going to get up, but again, he's got no AC-20, so I'm not as worried about him. We're going to have a bunch of hunchbacks with no hunches left. I'm okay with that. Light damage, Commander. Aye, aye. I'm gonna get myself out of direct shot of a bunch of these guys, and we're gonna to start to try to provide a little bit of support here for the victor. That'll help. That's a large laser off the battlefield. Standing by. I'm up, but I'll probably just fall down again. Get in the trees. Do a little vigilance. I think we go here. Stay in the trees. You take the shot at the blackjack. What would I need to turn off to get that? Medium lasers? Okay. Take some more guns off the battlefield, hopefully. Oh, we weren't able to do it. We weren't able to take off that arm. Eight left. We're just going to keep hopping backwards with uh, Turbine. That's the goal.
Get out of direct sight. Just lob LRM 40s at people. I'm sitting on the fusion reactor. Barely hit command. Okay. One left. The cicada. Of course. I'm doomed. Doomed. I just punch him. We do vigilance. We stay in the trees. We punch. But we got rid of a PPC anyway. And a machine gun. Waiting for order. Move order received. I take off that. Oh no, I'm on the wrong side. Targeting for an alpha strike. That was a wasted shot. Commander. Darn it. Move order received. Back of the hunchback? He's already lost his AC-20. Back of the blackjack? Yes. There we go. Blackjacks aren't renowned for the rear armor. So I think we do multi. I think we do LRM 20 here, and we do everything else on, say, this guy right here. Yeah, I guess that's it. Still has a PPC, but lost everything else. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Oh, there's there's reinforcements? Oh no, that was the move to the escape zone. Alright, so Cicada backed off. He's gonna shoot at the Highlander. Did Victor kind of get a pass all of a sudden? I mean, we've got a lot of guys missing primary weapons now running around because we haven't been finishing people off. We've got two hunchbacks. Cicada's... Oh, now a Vindicator. Cicada. Um, did we take a weapon off of this guy too? A Centurion? I think we did. Right here. We just keep hopping backwards. Cool. LRM ammo. Now we took his main weapon. Well, we'd already taken a large laser off. You didn't need legs, did ya? Let's do it. Now it's going to go fast. Hunchback. Vindicator. Just take the Vindicator off. He's still got a PPC. Down he goes. What does the Atlas want to kill? His options are getting less, more limited. Engaging. 
to hit a leg with the AC-20. Knocked down, though. This was a, an interesting fight. I like this one. I like forcing... I mean, it was eight people, which makes life a lot more hard, but I don't know that it was... It definitely wasn't whatever it said it was. Three star? Is that what it was? I lost a weapon. It wasn't... It's a lot harder than three star. I mean, it's pushing our five star to the brink here. So it's clearly not a three star, but it's a fun mission nonetheless. They need to balance out star ratings based on what actually... How many mechs are on you at once? They're based it on one lance, but if you have to fight two lances instantly, it's not the same thing. Um, and of course, we missed with everything because we had 80% chances. So, um, so it would be nice if they re-looked at that. Proximity of the two lances should affect um, difficulty because it does hugely, more so than extra weight. And I just lost the light because I've been going too long today. Uh, I think we're still okay. This centurion's been a pain. So we're going to try to finish him off. And we didn't. But he's got no armor left. Waiting for orders. And we just get rid of some heat. By missing. Good job. Missing a lot of high um, chance. Let's see if we can do another one. See if we can keep our streak going. There we go. Hey. Apparently, 85 plus means one out of three. That's what that number means. So it's actually a 33% chance. There we go. Pilot incapacitated. I got two left. Going after our victor. Turbine has been a trooper this time. She's been tough. Good thing she's dependable. We know that. She's got the tag. Armor breach. Commander. Speed there in the chip. Reach through his back and rip his heart out through his around his spine. You just have to go like that. <laughs> I guess if it's supposed to be on the left side, you go this way, then you can get it. You can slide it by. Yes, Commander. Affirm. Well, what the Highlander can't do, neither can the Victor. He's still standing. What do you need? There we go. That it? Engaging coolant system. Oh, more reinforcements are going to show up. Great. Where are we supposed to be running? <laughs> um, okay. Uh, let's go. I didn't notice that. Um. That is where we're supposed to go, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, who is that? Oh. Oh. We just ran that way. Okay, that's what we're waiting on. Right here. Oh, it's gonna take forever to get the victor there on one leg. Ready for orders. Um, where are they gonna come from? Coordinates received. Yep, three-star mission, guys. This should be a mix of heavies and lights as far as they're concerned. Four of them against a lot. Mission we have to... Wait, what are they talking about? How is that a scrub? That's a success. The oh, we just got robbed. We got robbed. That was a complete success all day long. So four more mechs show up. Big deal. That thing is bugged. We're not scrubbing it. I mean, all we had left was to escape. Why did it not just say, everybody's gone, hop on the ship? We got hosed. We set the targeting deep beacons for data transfer, and it worked. I'm writing this down. 
Data liberation. Data liberation. We did all objectives. Objectives. All enemies dead. Failed. A reinforcement. Countdown. Yeah, I mean, they should have just said, okay, everybody's gone, hop in, right? Um, not, now, even if we would have noticed that we were supposed to be running, there's no way we were getting the victor there. Um, but still, that should not be a failure. That should be a success. The ship should have said, everybody's dead. I can load you right now, and off you go. So that mission did not work the way the other missions normally work. Um, we got an AC-20 out of it. And it definitely should not be three-star. Maybe you could do it as three-star as far as those guys... Maybe if you could go careful and you could... No, I don't think so. All eight were there. They're going to come over a hill. There's no way that's a three-star mission. I understand there's supposed to be some variation, but that was just dumb and definitely shouldn't have been a failure. That's a bug all day long. As far as... It may be working as intended. If that's the case, they're wrong. First of all, it didn't work the way the rest of their missions work. Normally, you kill everything. You don't have to go to an evac zone. Oh, I am annoyed. I'm hot. Well, let's get stuff fixed. That was a hard mission that we succeeded at. It definitely, it definitely should have at least given us success for setting the satellite up. Because that's done. It doesn't matter whether we get out or not. Satellite's already come and gone. That bit was taken care of. That should have shown a success. If there was going to be a failure, it should be a final objective failure, not a, um, not a failure where it did show a failure, is what I'm trying to say. Um, well, we're going to be moving anyway. I don't know that it matters because I think I want to put a Gauss rifle in here at some point. But for now, we'll just swap that, get our SRM-6 back in. Actually, our SRM-4 that does more damage. Heat sink. Uh, cockpit mod. Um, I don't, what are, what's our heat efficiency like? Bad. Uh, okay. How about that? Better. On it. Um, and the Victor. Poor Victor. We turn it into this so it can stay back and not get shot. And what happens? It gets the crap shot out of it. Um, LRM, we need some ammo. And a jump jet. And a cockpit mod. All right, well, we rebuilt. We'll go take care of Yang next. Um, yeah, that was what? Back all the, all the way back here? Yep, that's what we'll do. We'll head off for Yang's big score. It's two and a half, so maybe we can actually do it. Because these three-star missions are apparently too difficult for me. Um, man, that stinks. <laughs> I'm just really, really annoyed about that whole thing. Oh, uh, well. What do I have in storage? Do we have anything? Um, Hatchet Man, Wolverine, Shadowhawk, Kintaru, um, Griffin, a couple quick draws. A dragon, a thunderbolt, catapult, an Orion. Okay. Um, and how's our score doing? We have 454 days left. Uh, 129,000. 
Okay, not great. Um, we're probably not going to complete any of those. We'd probably just sell them off to get money. Star system completion, we're not going to do all that. We're continuing to visit star systems. That's good. Positive reputation. Positive point. So this you're going to have to game by not getting allied. Right, you can't ally because otherwise everybody's faction goes down to zero. So you could work on everybody a little bit because bonuses, missions for them give you more than missions against them take away. So you could move up quite a bit. Um, which show us... It's not going to show us breakdown on that. But okay, so that's going to hurt you. Um, negative faction. Well, that's not... Yeah, because you're never going to be able to get that balanced. It's going to be one or the other. So it's going to be 30,000 total, I guess. Right? So you could do positive as much as you can, negative the rest. I don't know. I'm not sure how that works. We get a bonus of... Okay, so we could do two up to their maximum. We've got one there now. Um because they're not at war. So you could game that depending on the wars that people are at. Argo upgrades. Um, we still got a ways to do for that. But that's easy points. We might just do that. You know, because that, that could get us an extra, well, 60, 70, 70% of 70. An extra 60,000. Another 40 points, 1,000 maybe. Um, morale's fine. Mercenary view, we're fine. Except for crap like that. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Cheers.